Hey guys, Dr. Heimlich here today, and today we're going to be talking about your thyroid and why you can still be having those thyroid symptoms even if your labs look normal. How you can have them even if you're taking thyroid medication. All this stuff is published in scientific research we're going to be going over today. One of the reasons is a neurotransmitter. It's called serotonin. And serotonin acts on this thing up in the brain we've talked about before called the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus sends down message to the pituitary gland which is a phenomenal thing. It helps a lot of different uh, pathways in the body, but it really uh, communicates directly with the thyroid, telling the thyroid what to do. So if you're not having enough of this serotonin or your neurotransmitter up in your brain, it's not communicating down through the channels down into the thyroid to let it know what it's supposed to do. Now this is real science, and the pathway can get kind of confusing, but we're not going to go over that. Well, suffice it to say, your labs will still look normal, and, it's, and you're still going to feel cruddy because of it. Why? Because it hasn't been addressed what the problem is. Now, taking thyroid hormones isn't going to do anything to help this out. It's not going to help it out. Why? Because it's not addressing the problem. Your lab ranges are going to look normal. You might even get labeled as depressed because you still have this, even though everything's showing that you don't have a problem. But there is a problem. Now what causes this? What, what, can, uh, what can affect your serotonin levels? Number one reason is uh, blood sugar. And we've talked about blood sugar before, but if you get spikes up and down, this is greatly going to impact your neurotransmitters. So you need a nice steady blood sugar level going out through there throughout the entire day. So the sugar problems present as thyroid symptoms. And here's a key point to remember. You don't have to be diagnosed as diabetic for this to happen. You just don't. Um, you just have to have blood sugar problems. Now how can you help this? Eat healthy. Don't skip meals. Don't eat junk food. You know what junk food is. And I realize this is an oversimplification of the problem, but it's a great place to start. I think I'm going to stop here. So I know this is probably information that you guys haven't uh, heard before, uh, but it's real. It's out there. It's in the literature. So another reason that you can still have problems with your thyroid symptoms is because of that neurotransmitter that we talked about, the serotonin. So what you need to do is if you're still having these problems, you need to get to a uh, doctor who understands these pathways that we're talking about, that we can't just look at the thyroid stimulating hormone or the TSH and maybe just a T3, T4. We have to look at the body in its entirety. So go find out one of those, find one of those doctors.